Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Humble and the Azezulu. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, like and also comment. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to cut this something like the jacket I'm wearing. It is called overlapping peplum jacket. The only difference is that the sleeve I'm about to cut is not, is not straight sleeve, it will have peplum as a sleeve. Alright guys, let's get started. The first thing is to measure your half length because it's going to have half length. The half length I'm working with is 15 inches plus one. That's 15 inches. So this is my 15 inches. When you are cutting this overlapping peplum jacket, the first thing is to work with your back. And this is my back. So this is my 15 inches. My half length divided my half length plus one. That's 15 inches. Then the part I'm working with is 40 inches. 40 inches divided by 4 plus 2, the normal method, and we have 12 inches. So this is my 12 inches, and this is my 16 inches for the half length. Then I will come to this side. The part I'm working with is the neck. 3 inches for the wide, and 1 inch for the depth, because it's not going to come down anyway. And my half bar is seven and a half inches. This is it. This is my half bar. And I will shape out my arm hole. I'm using nine inches for the arm hole and you will cut it. If you have fresh fresh cup, you can also use your fresh cup. And the weight I'm working with is 33. 33 divided by four plus two. I wish I am having uh, ten quarters. So let's say 10 and half. All right, this is it. And we plant it and cut it off. This is my thumb hole. I will plant it by cutter and I will cut my the neck out. All right. So this is the back of my peplum jacket for the half length. Alright guys, the next thing is to cut out your front. The same uh, half length measurement, that is 16 inches. This is it. Because it's, it's overlapping, alright, because it's overlapping, the, what you are going to measure for the front will be wider compared to the back hole. The back hole is your exact bust measurement plus thin allowance. But for this front, you, you will not extend because it will overlap at the front. So get that. This is the back. You will place it on the fabric. You can cut like two times of your back to get the front overlapping. So this is like two times two of my back. You see now, this is times two of my back. You will cut out. Okay. I will use this place for my next point. This place is my next point. And this is my plant arm hole. You will trace it out like this. And this for my waist. All right. This is it. You will shape it out. All right, guys. Then this part is your overlapping. The next thing is to cut it like this. Depending on how open you want your overlapping to be, you we'll cut it like this. You we'll cut it like this. If you want it to have more than one inch, like this one, you will shape your hand. But if you want it to have more than one inch, you will shape. It's this thing that you will shape. So I'm leaving only one inch for this side. 
You can leave two inches. You can leave one and a half. You can leave half, depending on your taste and the size or your choice that you are about to cut. But for this tutorial, I'm leaving one inch. Then you will connect it to your neck and cut it out. You see, guys, it's not hard at all. Then you will. Split it. Yes. You see guys, you have something like this. You can see our overlapping. You have something like this. This is the back hole. So this is it. You can see it. And if you do it like this, and you are not satisfied, you want it to be open more than this, you will press this back like this and trim it out. But make sure that you didn't trim at once to be on the several side. So you just put your hand inside. And make sure you don't you are not exceeding your shoulder line. Alright guys, you will open it like this. You open it like this. You see that the front part is not like before it came, then you place it on your back. Alright, and if you are satisfied with this one, you will leave it like this. So this is the half length of the overlapping jacket. All right, the next thing is my flare. The length, the full length of the jacket is 23. Then your 23 minus half length, which is your 15. The remaining inches is your flare part. I've already cut out my flare part. This is my flare part. I cut head length because I want to uh, split part of it. All right, this is it. And this is my sleeve. I will cut off my sleeve. All right. This is my sleeve. This is half of my sleeve. You will cut out the length of your sleeve. And you will shape it like this. Alright, this is the half length of my sleeve and this is the peplum of my sleeve. I will pleat it also because I cut in less sense. I will pleat it like this and have sleeve like this. So this is this. This is my sleeve. This is my sleeve. And this is my sleeve. You can see our overlapping peplum jacket. If you find this tutorial very interesting, don't forget to comment, like, and also subscribe. Alright guys, let's see you later.